in today's video lecture I'm going to talk about IgM or immunoglobulin M and as you may know that immunoglobulin M accounts for 5 to 10 percent of the total serum immunoglobulins monomeric IgM is expressed as membrane bound antibody on B cell and other form of IgM which is not or non membrane bound it is beta mer or beta meric in which five monomer this is one two three four five units are held together with di sulfide bonds connecting constant region of the heavy chain number three together of each monomer unit and the constant region for number four of the heavy chain of the five monomers so the five monomer subunits are arranged with their FC bar this is the FC part of the antibody and this is the part or antibody fraction of this unit they are arranged with their FC bar regions in the center of or towards the center of the pentamer and the antibody fraction of these five subunits combined 10 small molecules so each one it combined 10 small antigens but however they combine only five larger uh, molecules and each bentamer contains joining this is joining or J chain and this joining chain or J J chain uh, appears to be required for polymer polymerization of the monomers together and to form so this polymerization is essential and crucial for formation of beta meric IgM and also this chain allow the IgM to bind to receptors on secretory cells so it can reach the external secretions that passes the mucosal cells so this IgM it is the first IgM is the first immunoglobulin class produced in the in primary in first or in primary immune response to antigen as can be seen here this is the IgM during primary immune response but however during secondary immune response it declines and the IgE antibodies they uh, rise so and on, on the other hand uh, as you know that uh, for 
activation of the classical pathway, two antibody molecules are required, for example, in case of IgG, but however, in case of IgM, only one molecule is required to bind <coughs> C1Q or complement component number one. And uh, as can be seen here, these two antibodies, they bind one molecule of complement component. And so it is more efficient in activating the classical pathway of the complement. Thank you very much, Professor Ahmed Bolad.